Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to This Merchant Life. For those of you joining me for the first time ever, my name is Sabouts, and for those of you returning, welcome back. What is This Merchant Life? Well, it's a tycoon game to an extent. It's very, uh, very cool, a uh, very neat idea. Essentially, what you do is you are a merchant, you have a cart, and you're going around in your trading goods between different cities based on supply and demand so for example buy low sell high that's all you pretty much need to know now there's a lot more that goes into this game uh, there's a lot of random events you have to hire a security detail to protect your cart and goods there's cart upgrades there's reputation and factions uh, different uh, things that you can do for towns there's missions that you can accept there's actually a lot to this game this game uh, if I could be honest with you guys went completely under the radar I actually managed to stumble on it uh, the day it released on Steam and I'm glad I did because now I get to show this game off because uh, really uh, the developer deserves it because the game is really cool actually I played it for like an hour and a half last night I got super lost in it so um, let's go ahead and get started now like I said, I played it last night a bit, so we're going to start a new game, though, and overwrite our old one. Now, getting to start out, you get different backgrounds that you can pick. We've got a soldier, a sailor, a stable hand, and a scholar, each one different bonuses. Now, these bonuses are not going to be, you know, some, they're not going to be permanent. All of these can you can raise over time. This is just where we're going to start off. So... I think, let's see, a security, capacity, speed, conceal, okay, so we get a, we get a security, a little bit of extra capacity, I'm not going to worry too much about that, I like the security and conceal, the speed bonus is pretty useful too, capacity and conceal, you know, we're going to take the stable hand, we're going to go for the speed bonus, because uh, based off of the little bit of playing I did last night, I think speed would be very useful. Let's go ahead and get started. The world map. So welcome to the kingdom of Peregrine. You are ready to begin this merchant life. I hope I pronounced that right. Right now you have 2,000 coins in a trade cart at Woodford, indicated by the red star in the northwest of the kingdom. So here it is. And then this, the rest of this, if you guys want to read it, you can. It's just basic, uh, a basic outline of rules on uh, what you need to do. So let's get started. Here is the capital here. And here we are up in the top left hand corner we are that red star in woodford now this is our caravan here this is the player health you can see our target rating so chance the card is attacked the higher that gets the higher chance there is of an attack and there is our coin we start off with 2000 just a basic merchant but hopefully we can work our uh, way up and become a successful uh, and large-scale merchant um, so here is our caravan which we are looking at here's different skills we can unlock we get upgrade points over time as we earn experience and then we can use that to level up in certain areas uh, that help us in speed and capacity and defense and such here is our security screen uh, this shows you how many fighters or heroes you have with you as of now we don't have any because we haven't hired any but we'll get to that shortly and here is the mission screen we don't have any missions right now, so we're not too worried about it. Now, what is going to be our next best option? Well, of course, that would be to probably go ahead and click on Woodford here. We can go right into the hub of the city and see. This will tell us our reputation, goods that we can buy and sell, uh, unit um, guards that we can purchase, which are only worth a certain amount of trips you can see right here. We've got different missions we can take. Things that we can build in the town, which helps us with reputation uh, per a certain amount of week or such. And upgrading our cart. So starting right off here, uh, we can actually go uh, right here and click on the. Um, let's see, I want to. If we hover over this, I believe, or or right click it, that is, we can see what the below average and above average is. So Woodford here, they have a lot of cloth and a lot of dyes, but they're below average on a lot of these things. So it doesn't really help us because cloth and dye are things that we cannot trade right now until we up, uh, we raise our trading level. But they're below average here. Timber hides weapons. Okay, so nothing really too useful just yet. If we go to the market, we can see if you hover over them, it'll tell you the average cost. So basically, like, let's take lumber, for example, or timber. 
Average cost is 20, which means anything below 20 is good and anything above 20 is is bad for when it comes to buying and then obviously reverse for when it comes to selling. Um, so we got 30 here, hides 36, so nothing here really stands out to me uh, just yet. So we're not even going to waste our time buying anything there. We could potentially take a miss mission, escort Fineblade to Hullbright. Where is Hullbright? Is it even a place that I can go? It's all the way down here. We're not going to take that just yet. So let's just go ahead and move. We'll travel for seven hours. We can press space to speed up. Now we're in randos. Something I want to go over real quick. When you see these things pop up, that means that the town is in need of something like that. So these are usually good places to go to pick up certain items. All right. Um, below average timber and weapons. They're actually above average on iron, which is pretty good because iron usually seems to be uh, pretty hard to come by. If we actually clicked on the hub here and went to market, we can see that the, see this town here is going to buy iron for 70. So if we can get iron for cheaper than that, then we want to do that. So let's move. All right, the Red Bard's journey. So a Red Bard approaches the caravan as it passes near a village. He stands out against the landscape like glowing sigil on stone, his blood red tunic catching the light. He would like transport to your next destination. He's willing to pay handsomely. There are those among your caravan who are not very fond of the Red Bards and their sooner's um, booming rhetoric. Uh, they are certainly divisive figures and some would argue they simply sow more division wherever they go. Well, we're going to accept because 500 coins is a lot. And we technically don't have any guards with us anyways. All right, so here we are. <clears throat> oh, they said above, above average, but clearly not because they don't have any. There actually was somewhere we started, and I probably should have picked it up. Everything else here is average. All right, well, we picked up 500 coin, right? So why don't we go ahead? I like to kind of do an upgrade really early on if I can get one. That 500 coin, we may as well spend on an upgrade. So this allows us to carry more goods, um, help spur your horse onto greater deeds. So we get a speed bonus to... Um, Cap plus one security, one conceal, uh, one speed plus two capacity. Um, let's do that. Makes us a little bit uh, larger and a little bit faster. So where? What are they hurting for here? It looks like they're below average on hides. It's set, that's right there is how many turns essentially it'll take before they catch up. And if it's going to take us a certain amount of days to travel here, less than that, then we can do the trade. So you'll see what I mean by that in a second. Okay, so these hides here, their average price, we're going to buy a couple of them. We'll fill right up. So we'll buy all 12 of them. That drives the price up to 42. You can see the price will increase or decrease based off of whether you're buying or selling goods. We picked up 12 of those. We're going to go straight to Serenity here. It's going to be seven hours. You'll watch this turn thing drop down. We make it there and we can sell. And you can see that we can sell it for, oh wait, hold on a second. Oh, they have an above. Oh my bad, I made a mistake. Okay, so let this be my first lesson. I made a terrible mistake. See, I, I, they are above average, not below. So they're actually selling it cheaper, not selling it for, for, um, they're not buying it for more. They're selling, they're selling it cheaper. That's what I meant to say. So don't listen to me. I was wrong. If the arrow's up, then they're, they have a lot of it. They're willing to sell for cheap. If it's down, then they don't have a lot of it. And they're willing to buy it high. Either way, we'll just pick that up for 20. We can make up the difference if we move to a new location. How about here? Sure, why not? Let's move there. We could probably sell all of our goods for a good price. If we were to go here, they would actually buy these. And since we bought a couple of them at 20, we may as well sell a few of them back. There we go. We broke even for that. Actually, technically we didn't. We made a profit, but we still have the 12 hides here. We don't want to sell them because we bought them for 40. So we want to hold on to those. So they have a lot of something here. Let's see. What is that? Meat. They're selling it very, very cheap. Let's buy all of it. And I was going to say we could sell the hides here, but we can't. Okay. We'll head back to Woodford then. See if meat or anything is going to be... Ah, yes. So we can sell all of that meat for a good profit. We can't sell the hides for a profit because they were 46, so we're just going to have to wait. Um, but we can buy some ale. All right. And we'll head back here. Now, this isn't all you do in the game. We're just doing this now to get a good starting income. You see, we can sell those five for 60. We got them for cheaper than that. But we're going to move and hold on to them because I think they're worth more than that. Sell that for 40 if I wanted to break even. This place has really cheap L. But I don't think I could get to it in time if I wanted to. But we can sell these five here. 
and turn over a good profit there. I still have these hides. I wonder if I can get there in time to buy it for as cheap as it's probably going for. Ha, huh, I can. Good. We can buy all sorts of that. For 30, that's a killer deal. Hides here we can sell for 40. Let's sell two of them to try to ditch the hides so we have more room for other stuff. Oh, everything else here I'm not worried about. We're going to move back down here. See if we can sell our rum for a good price. It was probably over here in Serenity. There we go. Yeah, that's actually a really good price. So we'll sell all of that right now. Um, I don't want to buy that. That's too high. That timber is extremely cheap, though. So let's buy that right up. You see, we're already over 2,000. So we're doing really good. We can sell some of that. Sell to drive that down to 40 because I'm going to get rid of those. Okay, so they need hides, but they're good on L. So, accident. The hole in the road was so deep it may go down to the underworld and the front right wheels were directly into it. Sometimes the most interesting thing about traveling on the roads are the roads themselves. Patch them up the best you can. Alright. So, oh, okay, so... All right, you have won second prize in a beauty contest. You were immediately suspicious since you were almost completely certain that you never entered in such a contest. Still, you've always felt like you were entitled to some kind of award for your looks. Maybe this is it. Collect. Gleefully collect your hard-earned reward. Question. Angrily question the result. Pa, I am not interested, and I'll tell you why. I'll just question it. Only second place. You angrily demonstrate. <laughs> remonstrate with the purveyors of this obviously fake scam contest until they grudgingly award your f you first prize. Hand over some coins and scuttle away looking bewilders. We got 300 coins for that. That was pretty awesome. Alright, they've got a grain shortage here, but the question is, there's a hide shortage and an L in... Okay, so we need the hides back. Oh, and they're cheap here. We'll buy all the hides we can hold. What else do we have? Nothing. Just 17 hides for really cheap, so we can go here and sell those? See, I'll show you guys exactly what we're about to do. This is how you make some money, right? So we're going to sell all these hides for a really good coin. Just like that. And then they've got ale cheap. And we'll buy all their ale. And heck, we'll buy their iron rules over here too. Because that's actually pretty cheap. And then we'll head... Actually, we should have bought the grain is what we should have done. That's, you know, it's not a big deal. You're going to miss out on stuff like that. See, they're, not ta they're taking grain for a good price. But it's not like it's anything crazy. Nothing that a little bit of selling of ale and that won't help us. In fact, you know what we could do? We could really could just head back and buy grain. It's going for 10 here, so we'll just buy all of it up to 17. And travel back down and sell it. Just make it a small profit. We've got 3,500 coin. We haven't needed any guards yet. We probably will. Let's go ahead and take a... Mission, right? Escort. Chest to Jarl. 400 coins to take them all the way to Jarl. Jarl. We cannot go to Jarl. We cannot go anywhere up here. We don't have a permit to do it yet. Eventually, we'll get that. We're not going to get it anytime soon, though. Well, so we can't do that mission. We could upgrade the cart, though. Ah, uh, reinforces. Let's increase the speed a little bit more, right? I like being able to move quick. I can get better deals that way. They've got cheap hides here. Let's go. Oh, man. After you've spent long enough on the road, you start to feel as though that every caravan, every cart, and every wagon has its own distinct audible signature. This may be utter nonsense, but you do hear Rafik's caravan approaching before you see it, and somehow you are sure that it will be him appearing over the horizon. Duly, he does. He seems to know that it is you and gets up and waves from the front of his cart. Your caravan and his come to a hall half alongside each other going in opposite directions. So we are like two legendary heroes meeting on the battlefield in some ancient, long-forgotten war. We are rivals, but also friends. We can respect each other even as we duel. Uh, he challenges you and your cart to a race against his. Half a mile back, he passed an old stone building that will serve as a finish line. Of course, there is a wager attached. I accept your bet. Clearly, he is confident in his victory. His cart sets off at a blistering pace, but yours is simply faster. You easily glide past him and reach the old stone building long before him. He is surprisingly... Um, okay, so he just gave us the coins pretty much. And, okay. I'm, I'm going to try not to read all of those because they do get a little bit... I will read as many as I can. But they... Obviously, if I stopped and read every single one, it would eventually get a little overwhelming, I'm sure. So we've got the hides. We could probably sell them to Serenity. For a little bit, uh, a little bit of a profit. All 
Hey, if we do have some cheap lumber here, we'll pick up. And sell here. And then I want to buy the rest of these hides. Okay, but they're not worth anything here, so... All right, so main goal, next rank junior merchant requires gather 5,000 gold. Reward, unlock tier two perks, days remaining 28. So we need to have 28, uh, 28 days to gather 5,000 gold essentially. So that's what we've got to work on. However, we are at the end of this episode. So that's going to be the plan next time in month two gather 5,000 gold in 28 days, which I think we can do. We've already, we're way over halfway there because we're just getting a lot of luck over here in this area. Um, next time, we'll try to take some missions, grab up a few guards, and we'll start heading down into a little bit more dangerous areas where there's uh, more chance for profit, but also more chance for being attacked. So that'll be the plan. However, thank you guys for joining me. I do hope you've enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.